The latest drought monitor shows drought expanding across Minnesota. We do have the chance of some showers in sight, then some cooler weather, but the heat and dry weather could be building back in. This drought monitor shows drought expanding across Minnesota, now 12% of the state, and it includes the northern half of the metro, a pocket of west central Minnesota around Morris, and then Duluth and the North Shore. Despite Duluth having their snowiest winter on record, pretty incredible. We did this last year though too, going from a wet winter in early spring to drought, and time will tell if the drought continues to expand. My hunch says yes because uh, the long-term forecast does not look real great here uh, for the early part of the summer. Now this is showing percentage of normal precipitation across Minnesota. You can see that east central pocket, including much of the Twin Cities and then up the North Shore, seeing a fraction of normal precip over the last 30 days. So this really was started by May. And when you look at the last year and a half of precip, you can see this pattern. Last year it was March and April was above normal. And then all of a sudden it's like somebody turns off the faucet for the summer and early fall. This year, even more extreme precip, of course, over the winter and early spring, and now that is shutting off too. And related to that is the drought and hot weather in Canada creating more smoke and air pollution, still really bad in the Northeast. New York will record their lowest air quality ever. Ours has improved, but it's only a matter of time before we see more, more smoke again with this continued pattern. Uh, dew points are still muggy to the west too. 60s dew points, that muggy air is not that far away. Twin Cities, Eastern Minnesota, much more comfortable, but because there is that moisture gradient to the west, we had some showers earlier this morning in Western Minnesota, and that same area is what we'll be watching because that will produce more showers as we head into uh, late Friday and Saturday as this next cool front dives south out of Canada. Could also bring a little more smoke from the other side of Canada. So the cool front is moving across the Prairie Provinces right now behind that a north wind, and this front is gonna be substantial. It's the secondary cold front that's really gonna drop the temperatures. Sunday, we're talking about even in Southern Minnesota, highs in the mid 70s. But first, we're hoping to squeeze a little moisture out of it. It uh, looks like late tomorrow, mainly Northern Minnesota, some showers and thunderstorms. And then as we head into Saturday, the front combined with daytime heating, Central and Southern Minnesota, we could see some showers and thunderstorms. These are gonna be hit and miss though. This is not gonna end the drought or abnormally dry weather by any means, but it is something and really the only chance of rain for a while because after that, we're headed back into hot, dry weather. Uh, so this is the forecast and precip. Better chances of more substantial amounts to the west and southwest, but fingers crossed we can get a little more widespread precipitation because once we head into Sunday, it's sunny weather, cool to start, but then hotter. By Wednesday, we're talking about highs in the upper 80s, maybe near 90. Again, we'll see if we continue to rack up our number of 90 degree days here for this early part of the summer. So uh, enjoy the break from the humidity and the uh, hotter temperatures because it looks like it's coming back next week. Even late tomorrow into Saturday, it'll be noticeably muggier, at least temporarily, and then drop Sunday, Monday. But yeah, those temperatures are probably headed back up as we head into the middle of next week.